guys. So I've done my workout, I've gotten ready. It is now 10 past 10. So you notice there's no children running around. My daughter's sleeping over at my aunt's and my son is over at my mom's house. So it's a pretty quiet morning. I am on vacation all this week, so it'll be a lot of shop prep. The plan for today was to actually go on a walk this afternoon, but it's looking pretty cloudy and muggy outside and it's supposed to be really hot, so we'll see. Part of my routine every morning is filling out my habit tracker on my August monthly spread and then going into my weekly pages filling out my sleep score as well as highlighting which workout that I did and then reviewing my to-do list for the day. It's been a productive two hours so far. I have um, purchased my website domain and I've also created my uh, business cards on Vistaprint. And I had to actually make a very quick logo, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. But now I just have to know the ins and outs of Shopify. Um, but so far, this is basically what I wanted to do today. I do need to do some more um, making sure that the cut lines are correct on my stickers. But then after that, I'm just going to take a break and relax for the rest of the day. Uppers. Lucy! Whoa! Filling in my habit tracker as usual, I'm doing really poorly this month, then adding in my sleep score and highlighting which workout I did today, and then going in and filling in my food from last night as well as my steps and calories burned, and then adding in that I did relax last night by watching uh, Dawn of the Eyes or Dawn of the Planet of the Apes with my husband, and then doing some reading as well. And coming up shortly, I'm going to show you how I created my little storage system for all of my stickers. really proud of how these turned out so basically using that huge piece of poster board over there I cut out seven different um, seven different size rect rectangles one that is going across this way so that was only really the length <laughs> of this uh, and then I cut six across this way and then in terms of the slits I made the slits go down so if you guys can see that there's the slits that hold on the way that I cut the middle piece is that I divided it into seven sections because I have six dividers so then I cut little slits in each one and then in the other ones I only cut a slit down the middle so that they would fit just like that and that way it kind of just holds itself up and then as soon as I've got my sticker sheets in there it'll stand up pretty well and I won't need to you know I won't need to glue anything down so I did some sample names oops some sample names and I did them in procreate and then I brought them into silhouette and they turned out amazing 
A friend came over for planning this afternoon and while she planned, I organized all of my sampler sheets into their perspective categories and I love it. This one is matched to this one. Okay, good. Hi. 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 These are all that I've printed in the last couple of hours. So all of these need to be cut. And I was having a huge, huge issue with just the way that they were printing. It wasn't printing properly. And then I wasted a whole bunch of paper, but I figured it out. I had to download like a different software or version of Silhouette. And then I had to clean the printer ink heads a few times, but did it. So now it's cutting all of these. <laughs> So it is now 7.23. I have been printing and cutting stickers since, gosh, like one. I mean, I did take a break in there to cook dinner for my family, but the issues that I had to deal with, like I had to deal with cutting issue was like a whole different story. Cutting, they came out like looking like die cuts, <laughs> unfortunately. So I had to work on that as well. So there's been a little bit of drama and I have to show you the amount of sticker paper that I wasted. This is gonna make me cry. This is the amount of sticker paper that I wasted because the printing, the printing was just not right. Like you guys may not be able to see it, but when I look at it, I just, it wasn't good quality. They may be good enough for oops packages that I do later down the road. I am exhausted. I did manage to get a few printed properly and cut properly and I'll show you. So this is what I have printed and cut so far. It doesn't seem like a lot because of all of the issues that I've had this afternoon, but I am at a good place now where I can continue the, the cutting and reprinting of any need me. But this whole process has really been about, like first I've had to design in Procreate and then moving my designs from Procreate to Silhouette and then figuring out the cut lines. Once I figured out the cut lines, then I'm figuring out the printing. Once I figured out the printing, then figuring out the, the cut settings. So I am getting there. I'm exhausted after all of that today, but I'm pretty happy with the work that I've done today. It's doesn't seem like a lot, but intellectually, I feel like I've troubleshooted a lot today. When you wake up to all of this fluff on the stairs, I'm not sure what Lucy ate.
Coco is tired. And after your bath, you're all wet now. Oh. <laughs> done much actual vlogging showing you my face today um, it's been a busy day we picked up groceries this morning so had to leave Lucy at home then what did I do after I'm really bad at remembering uh, and then I did some printing or not printing I did some cutting of stickers then we went for a walk with Lucy uh, then in the afternoon I did some filming and spend a lot of the time in my office actually it's funny that I'm on PTO this week but I'm still in my office but not doing actual work stuff just other work stuff if that makes sense but now it's the end of the day I am relaxing I am watching some Olympic volleyball while journaling and then I'm gonna read a book Lucy is right next to me this whole time just sleeping she's had a big day Been a busy morning. Henry and I are now off to the Bountiful Market. Say hi. Hi. Just finished my IG live this morning, and that was really, really nerve wracking. But yeah, now off to the market. What are you having? Um, donuts. <laughs> We're gonna split them in half, yeah. Was it good? Let me see your face. <laughs> After the market, I went in and actually updated my planner, my monthly habit tracker, and then updated my sleep as well as my workout. Friday was actually a very, very busy day. I had the IG live in the morning, took Henry to the market, but here I am filling in what happened on Thursday. Did anything happen on Thursday after filming and all that? I don't think so. I think I'm just looking for a sticker, <laughs> which took forever. And then there I go filling in my steps and calories then, uh, but then also adding that um, Rob and I watched the Green Mile and then again, adding steps and calories and then tracking part of my food for the day. And basically I had wedding photography with my dad and then this afternoon doing some more planning and then changing Saturday night's plans to instead of family movie night, a girls movie night because my sister's coming over. Then I've checked off a few things that I've done today already and then tracked my food for the evening. Overall, a very, busy and exhausting day. Starting the day with this terrible email from Staples basically saying they canceled my order and I wouldn't have found out about it unless I actually emailed them. So this is absolutely ridiculous. I'll have to go into Staples later to buy school supplies.
Good morning. Well, I say good morning. It is 1.30 on Sunday. My sister slept over last night and then this morning I woke up at 9. It was so lovely. Then we had cake for breakfast, watched some volleyball on the um, Prime video, and now just relaxing for the day. Gonna go pick up Henry uh, from my parents' house and then I have to take Lucy to her socialization at the grooming. I'm just gonna fill out the last bit of my planner here and then that is it for this video. So I go ahead and fill in my monthly habit tracker. It was terrible for yesterday. Uh, and then I flip to today and I fill in the food that we had. We had, uh, I put in this emoji from Coffee Monsters Code to say that we had a girls night with my sister. We watched volleyball and little women. And then I tracked my steps and calories and then tracked my food, which was Edo wine and cake. And then I also had tea and cake this morning for breakfast and then tracked my sleep and the chores that we did yesterday and track that I did sleep in a little bit, which was the most that I'd done in a while. And then uh, adding that I have to pick up Henry and I'm gonna end it here because I do need the time to be able to edit this as well as print off and cut and more stickers for my shop opening on Saturday. So that is the current state of my planner. I'm glad I took you guys through my life this week, because, you know, prepping for my shop opening next week and then having a girls weekend this weekend. I love being able to use all of these emojis in my planner. I love how full it looks, but it also is a bit of a memory planner for me. So I will definitely continue using my Hemlock and Oak as my catch-all planner. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.